Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Shadow Revenous and this is the Irony of Gaming. Now, here is a part two on how to succeed in Counterside for the Beginner's Guide. <clears throat> now, I know that there was uh, a lot of information from the last video and so this one will be a little bit shorter than the last one that we just the last one that we just uh, uploaded. <clears throat> so there was a set of other things that I did not mention within the last video and I'm going to mention it here and hopefully this will be the hopefully this will be the, the the stuff that I wanted to mention before. So we're gonna start with the task, uh, the guide missions the task force plans now the task force plans are something you absolutely want to try and do you want to do these because the this all of this stuff is going to help your account tremendously now you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do so you will always have something to do within this game and all of these missions that you complete they will each of these missions will give you a lot of good stuff like they'll give you some pretty useful stuff that you can do it's a lot and they're not they're not that they're not really hard to complete some of them will require you will require a few days or so to do only because it's very limited on specific things like the dives and the the shadow palaces and stuff however if you manage to complete them all, not only will you get the rewards from all of the other stuff that's set from here, but you'll also get the the award, like um, what's it called? Uh, you you get you get like a a nice special uh type of uh type of rewards and stuff like that. Completing like thirty five or things like that, like a selector. You get a selector. You'll get some gems, <clears throat> and. You also will get some uh, employment contracts and stuff, which is pretty cool. And again, this will be another one. You get some nice CEO units, which is really nice. Uh, wait a minute. Where's... Let me see. What's going to send this one? Okay. So, for beginners, when you manage to do... When you do complete the, the beginner's plan... One unit that I would highly recommend that you get for your first support would be Yang Harem. To get Yang Harem will tremendously help out your account. She's very she's she's a very robust unit, and she 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 offers a lot of options for your teams. She fits and synergizes with a lot of teams, and you you will. You will benefit tremendously by having her in your company. Okay, so yeah, so these are the, so these are the things that you want to finish. You want to do these. You'll get a tremendous amount of materials, a tremendous amount of rewards that will definitely help you out. We recently got another one with the fusion cores, so completing these will definitely give you a whole bunch of fusion cores, which will also help out your account. Now, there was another thing that I didn't mention before with uh, the guild sections. So, in the guild section, now, you don't necessarily have to, you don't really need to join a guild if you don't want to. But, if you do manage to join a guild, you will get, you will get an extra set of rewards. Like, let's say, you'll get access to this, which is, which is the welfare system. And you'll get personal buffs, which... This will this will always this number here will always replenish every single Sunday. So depending on the level of the consortium, which is which is also another word for it, like the guild, um, the higher the like the on a specific level with this will determine what you what you'll get what welfare points you get every Sunday. So. Let's say, let's say if your guild was like level 15, <clears throat> every, every Sunday, 175, you'll get 175 points. So 
it's very it's very good to try and spend your points for as, uh, you know spend spend as much of these points as you can because every Sunday it will replenish back to the max on what you have so because you're let's say you started out you're starting out and you're level one every Sunday you'll get 35 every Sunday so it's always nice to try and you know do do as much as you can in spending these points why because all combat all battle credits that's gained will increase by the five percent if you increase it to the max this will be by ten percent this is a great way of increasing your credits a lot faster with the missions that you acquire which if you do the event missions the event missions sometimes offer way more credits than the actual missions that that um you know gives you credits which is pretty interesting it's always nice to also like when you go here it's nice to do some donations and stuff why because it increases increases this right here which is the coalition funds and the coalition funds is right here with the coalition buffs i'm not sure i'm not sure if this is if everybody has access to this but if anybody knows like feel free to let me know in the comments section but i think i think that maybe it this is only available to if you're the leader of the guild but if not and it's available to everybody as well this is fantastic because all battle deployments will have a nice you know a nice discount on your eternium cost which allows you to do more missions at a at a much lower cost which will then uh, and which will then offer you more materials as a reward. Now, also too, the consort it's always good that when, when you're in a consortium battle, so like you know, if you join a consortium, it's always good to try and participate. Always participate in these in these raids when they are available. Doesn't matter how weak your units are. Doesn't matter how much little like how much little. Uh, what is it um contribution so much little contribution that you're offering in there always participate in them because when you do that you actually get points for it total participation rewards the game will reward you with this and also too the devs had mentioned before that they're going to increase the rewards even more when it comes to these consortium stuff so it's definitely beneficial it gives you it gives you summoning tickets gives you black tickets for your awakened summonings fantastic stuff it's always nice to do those and then when you're doing like the killing points when you're facing the main boss depending on many points that you're doing or <coughs> i think i think how many times that you kill them i think or which level that you reach you you'll get these points you'll eventually build up these points which then offers you some pretty awesome stuff i think that this is just participating in it it's either yeah, it's either part either participating in it or managing to kill that boss, and or even if you don't kill it, you'll get you'll get the points based on how low that you got the boss's health down, or depending on depending on if you killed them already. But this is this is always a good thing to do. It's always nice to participate in them. But this is all. But it's all. It's it's all up. It's all. What's the word that I'm looking for? Optional. It's all optional. You don't you don't need to join a guild, but it does it does make things it will make things a lot easier for you if you do join a guild, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. Now there was another section, so we, there was another section that I wanted to mention before. Oh yes, the danger close. So, the danger close it, it, it is like a challenging, it is a challenging thing to do. However, it's always a good thing to always do them, no matter what. Even, no matter how weak your units are, it's always nice to do this and to try and reach the highest points that you can. Why? Because you get rewards for it. You get a, a really nice set of stuff and you get the currency as well so don't skip those it's always nice to do them and you'll also get a nice reward for like um you know depending on where you are you'll get you'll get an extra set of rewards 
which is, let's see. Don't think that they'll show it here. But you will get an extra set of rewards uh, besides these. Oh, right here. So you'll you'll get the you'll get some rewards based off of where you are. No matter where you are, you will get compensation. Nice set of rewards, nice set of items. It's fantastic stuff. It's always it's always nice to do those type of things. And also too, you can also go into the exchange section, which this will give. This is where you will get your other set of maze gear. So. The goal, which you want to be lo looking towards, is you want to try and get the maze gear that you that try to get the maze gears for the units that you have, or the or the set of types of units that you've made a decision in wanting to build for. So you can either build it. So if you have like a counter unit squad that you want to keep building up, get the maze gear for it for those counters. Or if you or if you're determined to build a soldier team and you just want to do that, then get the maze gear for the soldier team here. And then if you want to, and let's say if you want to build a mech team, well, same thing. Get the maze gear for the mech team. This is one part of what you can get for the, the maze stuff. Now, in terms of like doing PvP, which... <coughs> I get it, you know, sometimes sometimes you know PvP may not be like your your favorite thing to do. However, doing the PvP also gives you a set of rewards and a set of points. Now you can do now you can do you can do the ranked missions and stuff like that, because every Sunday they will reward you with some points and some Eternium and they will reward you with uh, some gems which is a pretty pretty cool thing now now doing the strategy you can always do the strategy missions to you know to get the points for for like 900 and stuff like 900 is the limit you could always do that to get the points until it reaches zero and also too if you don't even want to do the strategy missions and you don't want to do the rank missions you could always do the arcade missions which is pretty cool because the arcade missions they they allow you to play with more restrictions and more interesting rules. Each, I believe, let's see, uh, yeah, probably to like, like for a month. So this will remain there for like a month or so. And then the next month, it'll be something different with another set of different rules and stuff. And you can, you can easily do this. And the thing is, what's really cool about this is it doesn't require any gear set so you don't need to worry about any gear however you do need to worry about the level because it's stats and you have to worry about your skills so it's always nice to max out your skill sets right here because that'll help you that, that will definitely give you an advantage over your opponent but doing this in acquiring the uh <coughs> in acquiring the gauntlet points. You can use these gauntlet points to start making purchases for items like these. Now, how this works is you would have to purchase everything here in order to unlock the second level. And this this is a nice thing to have from uh, from time to time. But I would I would recommend that you build up the points to acquire your maze stuff, acquire your maze and your Gordia stuff to get all of this once all of this has been acquired then you can do pretty much what you want you know getting a whole bunch of stuff from this each I think each week or each month yeah each month it's always nice to get these um there there is now there is one thing too so sometimes you'll get things like this where this is like a like you know 50% 50% discount and stuff like that sometimes you'll get this now this will rotate so in 34 days this will rot the discount will rotate to another um, another set of PvP gear so it's 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 always nice to get something like this but if I mean if I if I really like 
if it really had to come down between the two, I would probably recommend the Maze Gears. Like the Maze Gears, the Gordius Gears. Because, well, the Gordius Gears is like defensive wise, while the Maze Gears is more attack wise. But these, these types of gears are really good to have. They're like your end game gear in a way. And they can be upgraded to tier, to tier 7, which could help you out as well. So I definitely recommend this. The focus on getting the maze gear using your gauntlet points. And then once you acquire all of that, then you can get like these things here. Now, in terms it's like in times of like an emergency, if you really need to get like things like this already, then that's fine. You can do that. You can spend you can spend some points to acquire these uh, cores and the SAPT cores. But um yeah, this was uh this was pretty much this was pretty much what I wanted to include in this next video here. And hopefully hopefully this was really helpful. And oh, also too, I forgot to mention one other thing when it came down to the shop. So be careful when you see certain things like let's say let's say like uh because sometimes sometimes this this shop here likes to give you ridiculous prices sometimes so let's say like let's say like you could get a black tickets like five black tickets right but they'll say like oh it'll cost you like 350 gems don't do don't don't, don't buy that guys it's it's obviously the game trying to get you to spend uh, like a whole a whole bunch more than for what it really is so just be mindful for your, you know, be mindful with your gems and just just be careful with that. <laughs> Cause sometimes the game likes to trick us into buying certain things into buying things for, for a ridiculous amount of gems. And we could just simply just refresh it and we'll get like a better price. So be careful on that. But other than that, yeah, this was uh this was everything that I wanted to that I wanted to talk about. This is and hopefully this will help you guys succeed in your accounts. So, you know, do you do your guide missions, very important. Do your gauntlets. Those are also very important. Do your danger clothes. That's very important too. And yeah, if you found this video useful, um feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video of the tutorial, then leave, you can leave a dislike. But till next time, catch you guys later.